From this video, we will know what's new in the new version of Tesla Scarlet 2, 38. The main feature we added in the new version is possibility to add user-defined properties. To do this, you have to open object properties by double-clicking on the object you want to add and click user-defined collection. In our case, we add user-defined property number and equal it this one. Now you can you, you have to click OK to confirm these changes and now you can use this property in other properties. For example, you have to change flash rotation depending on state one tag. You can click enable property and click choose tag and enter state and enter number our property. Now our text flash property depends on the text state one. You can click and let's check. It's change and for example one it can change. Also, you can use this property in scripts. For example, in Esther Motor Fuel, you can it's bind its ob object type script and bind to our motor. We get this name by state object this number. And object this number we get speed. Then we get text values by this code and depending on the color on the text value we change object field color object field color we place this script in the script collection for the object and now you can copy this motor and change only number property and bind to the other text text speed 2, state 2 and speed 3 and when you change these properties the colors change depending on script you can see. Also in this example we use script to call pop-up. Also we get state dependent on objects. Also this object type script and put this to the global argument and when call pop-up open script we depending on this global arguments, change text and color of the state and speed. Let's see how it works. For example, we call this pop-up, we call this pop-up, and for example, we change this to other value, and color and text is changed. This example you can find in our below this video on YouTube. Also, we add possibility to import libraries, not only just object, but also, for example, but also with scripts and bind pop-ups windows. For example, we create use defined library and place our object in our library. Now we can export library plus our scripts and pop-ups window. For example, we name this one place. And now when you 
export this library, you can find not only object, but also pop-up window screen, this screen, and objects that bind to this object scripts that bind to this object. Also, we add user manual on our on our site. You can find it and find other examples with using user defined property here in our user manual on site. Also, you can get to our user manual from our site by clicking here. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask by forum or email.